Well, I'm pleased to welcome in now Larry Clayman. He is the founder of Freedom Watch and a former federal prosecutor. Larry, welcome. Good to see you. Bill, uh, happy blessed Memorial Day. And the Thank same, you for having me on. You bet you the same to you. I, I want to go back to a story that was just in the news headlines that a federal judge in Washington has dismissed a lawsuit alleging that Ms. Clinton's mishandling of emails led to the deaths of two Americans killed in Benghazi. The judge, Judge Amy Berman Jackson, tossed out the wrongful death claims as well as allegations that Clinton essentially slandered the parents of the deceased by contradicting accounts the parents gave of events related to their children's death. What's interesting in here, too, is uh, in reading some stories and reading the opinion, the judge goes out of her way to avoid giving her opinion on the appropriateness of Clinton's use of a private server, and she does not comment on the lack of accuracy, or accuracy, however you want to look at it, at Secretary Clinton's comments immediately following Benghazi. That is, she didn't point out that Mrs. Clinton flat out lied to the world and the American people about the causes of this uh, attack in Benghazi. I'm interested in your reaction to this lawsuit being dismissed. You are a party to this, right? Well, yes, we brought the lawsuit. Yeah. I brought the lawsuit. And let me give you a little background here, here, Bill, because it explains what happened. This judge is an appointee of President Obama, number one. Number two, she issues this opinion on the eve of Memorial Day. And I think that says a lot. It was extremely vindictive. Why would you do that if you weren't trying to make a political statement? And, of course, just a day earlier, Hillary Clinton signaled she wants to run for the presidency again. But why would you do that even Memorial Day when Ty Woods was a Navy SEAL? And in fact, Charles Woods is a Gold Star family member. Right. And uh, Patricia Smith uh, also lost her son. He was an undercover CIA agent at Benghazi. So that's just the background of it. But in terms of the legal ruling, we're confident it will be overturned on appeal because she had no right to take away from the jury the issue of whether or not Mrs. Clinton lied uh, when she said that this was just an attack spurred by a video of the Prophet Muhammad. She called our clients liars. Yeah, I, I, Larry, I want to I I ask you about that. I, it's interesting because not in what I saw, and, and please correct me, what I saw, the judge went out of her way to avoid commenting or noting what Mrs. Clinton's comments were after the Benghazi attack, right? She just didn't even make a comment about the about the lie and it was a lie we all know that now it was a lie that she told everyone right and that that defamed our clients who were ser seriously emotionally hurt they lost their sons and they're being called liars over in fact what they were told was the reason for the deaths of their sons now that's just the defamation claim the other claim was wrongful death because it was the use of mrs clinton's private email server which was hacked admittedly five times even by Comey and the FBI, that led to terrorists knowing the whereabouts of Ambassador Chris Stevens, which resulted in the deaths of our clients. Now, the judge claims she did that in, within the scope of her government authority as Secretary of State. But to use a private email server is not part of her duties as Secretary of State. So we said, no, she's not immune from that either. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, the judge would not even allow for a deposition to be taken, which is required when the government tries to step in and say, well, this defendant is acting within the scope of our authority, and we're going to assume the defense. That's what the Obama Justice Department tried to do. So the decision was entirely wrong. And this judge just bought herself an ethics complaint because she let her politics rule over her oath of office to be a judge. I'm filing an ethics complaint on my own behalf as a lawyer. My clients have too much... Uh, dignity to do that. I mean, their sons have been hurt. Yeah. But this judge is part and parcel to the 70 to 80 percent judges that are on the bench today that run interference for Obama, for Clinton, and everybody else to 70 percent nominated by the Clintons and the Obamas. And that's the problem. And that's why President Trump loses every case, because the courts are so packed. We have a judicial selection strike force coalition where we're recommending good independent judges. I don't think judges should be conservative, liberal, or moderate. They should be independent. They should yeah. follow the law. This judge is simply a political hack, and that's the reality, and that's what happened yeah. here. And the fact that she issued this decision on the eve of Memorial Day to try to hurt my clients, 
I'm enraged. You know, I, I, Larry, like I'm not I have, enraged. Let me be more enraged. And I'm not taking away from your outrage. I just want to tell you that as a longtime journalist, I suspect the reason she, the timing for this decision was because she wanted it buried. She didn't want anybody to notice what happened. And you're here talking about it. So clearly <laughs> that, that strategy well, she's, she's did not work out. Educated. You know, not that, not that Harvard educated has good sense, but she's undergraduate and law school uh, educated. She knew better than to issue that on the eve of Memorial Day when my clients are grieving for their fallen sons who happen to be heroes, uh, an undercover CIA agent, and a SEAL Team 6. Okay, so that's, the, that's a cheap shot. I'm sorry if I sound you know, emotional, but I am, because this is what we're dealing with in the judiciary today. It's literally built a cesspool, and this is an outrage. And the American people should be outraged. It doesn't matter whether you're left, right, or center. You don't do that, and you don't try to bury it. I agree with you. She did it in part because of that. That's what she wanted to do. you don't bury it before a holiday. No, she, it, it, the timing of it was definitely insulting to the, to the parents in this case. But I, I you know, I, you, you, it used to be on, companies would release bad news on Friday night because nobody read the Saturday paper, right? They, they'd get it out there, it'd be in the Saturday paper, and nobody would see it. So this what this feels like, the timing of this ruling feels well, like that to me. Let me tell you, there's also a backdrop to this, okay? And that is, you know, I've been fight, fighting her and her husband for years. I'm the only lawyer ever to have a court rule that her husband, Bill Clinton, committed a crime when he violated the Privacy Act and released the White House file of a woman he sexually abused in the Oval Office, Kathleen Willey. So, you know, she's never been touched. But now they've got protection. Obama and Clinton have protection. Also, you know, with the NSA, we now know that Obama has been surveilling uh, virtually everyone illegally. And mm -hmm. that's a decision by the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court. He thinks he's above the law, too. And when in this country are we going to hold people accountable? But we have these hack judges who protect the politicians because they got them their jobs. They want higher appointments. And even another judge on this court, I won't say who it is, said to me confidentially when it was assigned to her. Her name is Amy Berman Jackson. Right. He said, you can forget it, Larry. You know where you're going to, you're not, the thing's not going to be dismissed. You can forget it. Another judge on that court. Really quickly, I got 20 seconds left. You're filing an appeal, I'm assuming, tomorrow. Yes, we are filing an appeal on that. And um, I'm filing an ethics complaint as well. All right. This judge. Larry, I got to run. Unfortunately, thank you for your time, and I appreciate your outrage, and the motion's always welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Bill. God bless you. God bless you.